They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind for the first time in a while. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. <laughs> Here he comes. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. All right. You better do what they say. So hi everyone. I'm Alfred and I love Morrowind. It's not my favorite game of all time, but it's really damn good. The sooner you leave, the sooner we can move on. <laughs> Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Sure. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. So... I'm going to be a Dark Elf, because I always play Dunmer in Elder Scrolls. This one's okay. Uh, yeah, sure. So this is my second try at LPing Morrowind. The first time was when uh, I wasn't particularly... I had literally just started LPing Morrowind. It's not easy to record, but I've grown a lot as an LPer and guy who records things. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. All right. We're going to give him the info. And I believe... What are we going to be? Uh, so I have an idea for this. Athletics and block. Armor, spear. That's crap. Gonna fill out the forms herself. We're gonna be a buff boy. We're gonna favor endurance and luck. And we're gonna be skilled in armor. The short blade. There it is. Spear Athletics. We can swap that out for something a little better. Block and then Spear. Oh, shoot. Is Axe on there? Sure is. I want to avoid doing magic because I have a very specific idea for this playthrough. For one, I'm going to... Ooh, Marksman. That's it. 
for one, I'm going to try very hard to beat the game. And two, I'm going to attempt to do everything my character does in real life. I can't cast magic in real life, but I can swing a sword. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Um, I think it's the lady? The Lord is one of the worst signs in the game, by the way. Blood of the North is one of the crappiest healing spells that you can literally... You can literally get a better healing spell in character creation if you just tag uh, Restoration. And Weakness to Fire 100% is crap. Yeah, Mage is okay. Ritual is okay. Yeah, we're going to go for Lady. Personality and Endurance. Endurance is good. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. We're Galena Pitchblend. We're a Dark Elf. We're a buff boy. We were born on the Lady. And we're good at all these. So I will probably... Um, yeah, we don't need to talk about that right now. Okay. All right, I'm a officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Evidence chest. No further until you have your papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galena Pitchblend, a buff boy dark elf. So yeah, the Morrowind tutorial is very short, but it is a forced tutorial. But that's okay. There we go. You should learn how to do combat. Oh, man. I've got to think about what I'm actually going to carry. Here we go, digger. All right, I am carrying 24 units. So I actually had this realization. Uh, a unit is not a pound. Because there's no way a dagger this small could be three pounds. Um, in fact, I think that's impossible. Your papers, please. Uh, yada yada yada. All right, goodbye. There we go. This package came with the news of your arrival. Take it to Caius Cossades in Balmora. Go to South Pole Corner Club and ask for Caius. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor. I have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. Yada yada. All right. We are carrying 24 units. And we're off. All right. So we've got one dagger. We're carrying 24 units. What exactly is that? One moment. Just crunch some numbers. 24 units is about four and a half pounds. I suppose I could spare a moment or two. Oh man, I love this game. Okay, it is 10 a.m. And we're getting to Balmora. So I have to walk this distance in real life, this equivalent distance. Yes. So where are we going? 
Back Pelagia, Zidane. There it is. So yeah, Morrowind. Um, either on the day that this video comes out or on the day that... Uh, the video that this video is a component of comes out, I will... Morrowind will have turned 20. So hey, look at that. I love this game, man. I'm aware that I'm kind of too young to have really played it. And I'm aware that it looks like shit. But I also don't care. This game rocks. So we have a very rudimentary map. Something that I should check frequently for my own records. Here we go. So yeah, um, for those unfamiliar, Morrowind is the third Elder Scrolls game. And by that I mean it's like the fifth or sixth Elder Scrolls game. But it's the fifth... Oh boy. It's the third numbered one. Alright, first combat. Oh, he didn't hit me. Great. That means that I don't have to worry about it. Almora. Um, so in addition to all the other things I have to do, like I have to haul the amount of weight that I actually carry on my person in the real world, I also will have to take the damage and do the damage that I do in character in the real world. Um... I have no idea what I'm going to do for magic damage, but considering that Dark Elves are resistant to magic... I forget where it says that. But Dark Elves are resistant to fire magic, so don't need to worry about that. Um, no idea what I'll do for lightning magic. And for ice magic, I'll take a cold shower, I guess. Yes, um, most people primarily know Oblivion or uh, Skyrim. In fact, I would say most people primarily know Skyrim. Um, which means that going here is like kind of familiar, but only a little. Yeah, this game was revolutionary when it came out. I think it still looks good. The faces look like crap. And a lot of the other character models do. But the, the world is fine. Uh, however, something that um, is not in this game that is in most other Elder Scrolls is there's no fast travel. You must walk everywhere. Which is why I... Partially why I wanted to do this. You don't really think about your journey in the other games because it's like... I'll just hit the button that'll just take me there immediately and you do so and it's over you know but in um, in this you don't have fast travel you have to think about everything before you you know every step you take is important um, which is also why I wanted to do this in the real world so yeah this game has some level one hell Uh, because unlike a lot of other Elder Scrolls, this game does not have level scaling. Um, in other games, Amora. In other games, there is a uh, mechanic called level scaling, wherein any time you level up, the enemies do as well. It's usually handled with uh, extreme aplomb, and a lot of, you know, math goes into it. This game just doesn't have it, though, for whatever reason. Um, which means that if you aren't careful, you can just wander ass first into extreme danger. Um, like, if you were to go find the final boss, 
Assuming you could get to him, you could fight him. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And you wouldn't be able to kill him for a lot of reasons. Reasons that consist of doing the main quest, but, you know. So, there's that. Which is another reason I love this goddamn game. Because, like, Oblivion's intro is, like, seven or eight minutes long, I want to say. Um, and Skyrim's is, like, 30. But I'm done with the intro of Morrowind. I've been done. I don't have to go to Balmora. I just, I'm here to do the main quest, which is why I'm doing it, but that's up to me. I do not have to go here. I could go straight to anywhere. And I could do the quests there. I could just go on a killing spree and murder people and I would die because I don't have any armor. Um, you know, player freedom is, I think, at a high in this game. All right. These guys can be dangerous. But usually not. I mean, come on. It's a little it's a grub that vomits at you. Um... So I'm doing this not just because Morrowind just turned uh, 20. Well, at the time of recording, it hasn't yet, but it will soon. Uh, I also recently watched Dune with my family, uh, my wife and her sister. I've gone up to 25 pounds. Or 25 units. Not more. Heading through the Ashlands now. Um, Morrowind is dominated by this big thing. That's a fucking volcano. Red Mountain. Wait, is that the ghost gate? Is that the ghost gate? Fuck. I'm rusty. I'm a little rusty. I haven't played a lot of Morrowind since I did that series of, like, touring it. Uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, ghost gate is that way. Damora and Caldera. Um, so with my family, I recently watched uh, June. Or Dune for Americans. Uh, the Frank Herbert novel. Um, well, specifically the movie adaptation of it. And holy shit, I'm blown away by how it is just Morrowind. <laughs> like, if you replace Fremen with Ashlanders and Kwisatz Haderach and or uh, Wadib with Neverevarine. Hey guys, what's going on? Yes. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, whoops. Uh, I should save. I mean, Christ, there's even an empire. Stolen for the last time. Whoops. Take that. Now, I, might the uh, I didn't actually mean to steal that. I'm listening. I hit the button by mistake. Whoops. Ooh, iron arrows. For the last time, you stolen for the last time. I've trifled with you long you enough. You make this too easy. Wow. All right, who saw me? Oh, he did. Okay. He only saw the first one for some reason. Or the, the second one, I guess. You've made your last mistake, thief.
But they took the swords. All right. I will give up on this. Um, I'm also going to not save scum because uh, I need to do this as clean as possible. That one was fine because I did no walking, but... Anyway, yes, I recently watched the original Dune. Which is remarkably similar to Morrowind. Balmora. Sorry. One of my teeth just started hurting. Maybe I'm having a heart attack on camera. Wouldn't that be interesting? Hey, hey, look at that. It's that big old Salt Strider. I love the Salt Striders. I think that they work as Balmora. Here we are, everyone. So yes, I'm going to have to take notes on everything to make sure that I can uh, represent this properly. Welcome. Thank you. I love seeing this Argonian every time. What do you ask of me? Like every time they just have like the biggest dump in their pants. The way that they walk with the tail, they look so dumb. So I'm so excited I'm running laps. I shouldn't be. I'm adding additional work to my to my plate here. Do I know you? All right. All we've got now is our default little iron dagger. Um and that's about it. So I have to watch it. Balmora. We also have a local map that we can hit. Give us a closer look at it. So the game wants us to go here to the South Hole Corner Club. But if we do, uh, they'll be like, oh, Caius, he's at his house. It's meant to teach you, like, you know, ask around, talk to NPCs. Because um, in a lot of cases, you actually just do have to talk to NPCs. It's really the only way to get anywhere. Here we go. Guys, because it's us. So how long have we been recording? We've been going for 23 minutes. Um, in my last LP, this took about five hours to get here. Uh, or no, two and a half hours. It was five episodes, though. Um, which is fine. You know, like I said, up to you. Um, and it is... Uh, 4 p.m. So it took us six hours to walk here. Now, I'd also like to demonstrate this. This doesn't count, by the way. There we go. So Caius is your um, primary NPC. He helps you do the main quest, does all that stuff. Um, he's also, as you can see, a nearly naked crackhead. Ah, oh, well. That's unfortunate. If I had better weapons, I could do it. Especially if I had the Jink Blade. But yeah, Moon Sugar is a drug from Ezelweir, the land of the Khajiit, the cat people. Um, and it's refined into skooma. There we go, good skooma pipe. It's refined into skooma by the Dunmary. Uh, the Dunmer. Um, which is a drink version of it. Well, yes, I'm Caius, but what do you mean you were told to report to me? What are you talking about? Say your name is Galena Petchblend, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. You were absolutely letting me look at it? Yes. It's very interesting. It says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the Blades. You may remember the blades from Skyrim or from Oblivion. Uh, if not, the blades are uh, the Emperor's special paladin, guys. It means to be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Yes. 
Good. Welcome to the service, novice Galina. Now you belong to the Blades. With the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can visit your... You can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hernia, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Give me some orders. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Find yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell or something. And uh, second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the fighter, mages, or imperial cult. Or imperial legion. Advance in the ranks, gain spell and experience. Uh, or look for freelance work. All right. So we have to go get a job. But he gave us some cash to do so. So, so I'm going to buy a thing called a Balmora Jink Blade. Which I don't think is the actual name of it. Outlander. Every time I have to voice a dark elf in one of my videos, I hate it. All of their voices are so... <sighs> you know? It just... Ugh, hurts your throat. Fighter's Guild is over here somewhere. For some reason, my, P uh, my PC is popping off. Can't be struggling to run Morrowind, so maybe it just needs a restart. Just in case. So, were I playing this normally, I might uh, steal all of these and sell them at a meager price. Eight plates. There's a hole. Oh man, I love this game. I'm a strong victim of uh, restart-itis, as it's often called, um, or alt-itis. Wherein you love starting the game and never beat it. I have probably beaten this game for myself once and seen it beaten other times. So, this is the Balmoran Temple. You can see various religious iconography here. Actually, let's not sleep yet. And some beds. Cool things on the wall. What's up, Dark Elf? Welcome to Balmora, council seat of House Hlalu. How can I serve you? So, enchanting. Uh, we can have him enchant something for us. And we can also ask him about all these things. Shopping for enchantments. Which is one of the unique, cool things that... Um, I think is cooler in Morrowind. Um... Shrine of St. Lothus. Shrine of St. Realm. And you may also recognize these from Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC if you played that. I'm assuming that most people watching this will not recognize it, although it's possible. I mean, fans of Morrowind are staunchly protective of this game. Is that a full thing? Bottle. Nope, just different flavors of bottle. Okay, so I've been walking for um, six hours of the real game world. What about Mora? If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. And if it's just a little advice, that's fine too. Uh, quests from the temple are at lower ranks are not too difficult, but after you reach curate rank, the quest gets very, very difficult. Don't be surprised if you have to do a lot of skill building outside temple before you can reach higher rank quests. Uh, tasks are tests of faith, but also tests of good judgment and common sense. Go ahead. All right, cool. So I debated a lot of things for this. Um, I was debating playing this game like I normally would. Which is to say, uh, I usually go for a spell sword build. Because in this game specifically, magic is very useful. Run of the tribunal. No, fuck the tribunal. You want to join the temple? You have a promising look. Perhaps we could use you. Join the temple. You're layman in the temple. Welcome, brother Galena Pitchblend. One of several masters, you can get your duties and perform well. Advance. If you perform well, advancement in the temple is not of the question. Before I give you, you must make you prove your faith by walking the pilgrimage of the seven graces. Take this book, Pilgrim's Path. It describes where the pilgrimage sites are. After you've completed them. 
Speak with me again. While most of these are easy, the pilgrimage, the pilgrimages of Ghost Gate and Ruddy Man are more difficult. You may wish to do those last. Your actions precede you, Outlander. Um, I got that just in case. Is there something I can do for you? Don't be in a hurry when you're traveling. Take your time. Learn your eyes. Keep your eyes open. And learn from experiences. You're on the road to learn about yourself and the world around you. Prudent, correct as well. So some of these buildings are actually large, hollowed-out bug shells. Which I think is neat. Alright, I believe... Is this the door out? Yes. Also, the door says to Balmora. Um, I grabbed that just for its own sake. Uh, we are now at 28. Which is still very light. I figured out the conversion rate uh, based on how heavy a sword is. I know how heavy a sword is in the real world. Um, I own a few. And... So, like... Ooh, more like Tom. I love the sexy red womb-like mood lighting here. Oh, friend, I'm Gillian Sidas. Welcome about Mora. Same deal. I'm an assassin. Killing is my profession. I'm discreet, efficient, and reliable. In more one, the assassin's trade is ancient and honorable profession, restricted by a rigid code of conduct and operating strictly within the law, which is so interesting. Everyone loves the Dark Brotherhood, but I think they're full of shit, to be perfectly frank. Um, where were we? I prefer short blades for swift, close and personal work. While the marksman weapons like throwing stars and knives are more suitable for stealth and surprise. I charge fair prices to, pray, to train as, uh, apprentices with the assassin skills. So we can have them train us in short blade, large armor, or marksman. But we won't. I'm willing to share my insights for the right price. Yes, Outlander? <laughs> so yeah, Morag Tong. Legal assassins. Just so cool. Welcome, what brings you to the Morag Tong? Ancient traditional assassins guild of the Dunmer. Provide these varieties, uh, we provide three varieties of execution. Public, private, and house war. We only recruit candidates of proven skill and honor, and only Grandmaster Ino Hlalu in Vivek can authorize new members to join the Morag Tong. And we have to go see I'm Mr. Hlalu. So yeah, this is the analogous equivalent to the Dark Brotherhood. Um, the Dark Brotherhood does exist in Morrowind, but um, members of the Morag Tog think they're full of shit. Because the Dark Brotherhood, if you think about it, are a bunch of losers. Aw, oh, crap, it's the tower. Is this the tower? No, this is a different tower. There's a super magical enchanted sword somewhere around here called the Sword of White Woe. It's the super do uh, the super dope radical uh, super sword. Speak. Where's the Fighters Guild? It's on Trade Street, west of the river, on the right as you head north. So yeah, also, that's what you actually have to do in this game. You have to listen, you have to read what the people say, and follow their directions. There aren't quest markers. So, west of the river. There we go. You can also use the map, but that's not always the case. Because sometimes it's like, you're going to want to head north-ish for like 30 minutes. Guild of Fighters, here we go. I think this is the easiest way to start, especially since I don't have anything. Here to join the Fighters Guild? Sign me up. You're now Galena Pitchblend, the associate in the Fighters Guild. Follow orders, you'll be ready for advancement. Uh, simple contract to end an infestation of Cape Rats. Might be able to handle it. Right. River on the east side. Kill the rats. Hey, man. For an equalizer? 
That's barter, my friend. Dumb and Jinx Sword. The Jinx Sword is great. Uh, and let's see if there's anything else in here. All right. Thank you. Please come again. So now we have multiple weapons. Short sword and the dagger. Which means that I'm now at 36 pounds. So I'm going to have to carry both of those weapons on my person. We hit J, I think. Yep. Uh, Jorain Thelas. He said the river. So as we know earlier, we're on the west side of the river. Which means we just got to head over here. Oh yeah, you may hear mention of slaves around. Slavery is legal in Morrowind. Um, that's not it. So this one. Just looking at the map here. Don't mind me. Nine toes. South Hall Corner Club. Have I gone past it? I have, yes. Okay. Fine by me. So for those of you who want to do the uh, conversions in the real world for yourself, I figured out that a Claymore weighs something like 30 pounds. Or 30 units, rather, in uh, Elder Scrolls. Uh, a claymore is like five pounds in real life, so that's the conversion. It's five divided by thirty, which gives us one eighty-five or zero point one eighty-five. Are you the one that sent to take care of the cave rats? They're a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Galena Pitchblend? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key. There are at least three of those beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. <laughs> Pardon me, I've just had breakfast. So, the reason that this thing rocks is because of the effect it has. Paralyze for 10 seconds on touch. Cast one strikes. Uh, the enchanting in this is rather robust. Um, but this sword is always in that guy's inventory and he's always in the same place. Uh, we're going to sleep for an hour. We're going to sleep for two hours. There we go. There we go. So you can see that we've paralyzed him. And also we got an assassin sent after us for some reason. That's why the Jink Blade's great. An attempt was made on my lap as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but it should probably be reported to a guard. So, here's the nice thing. All of that gear is better than what we have. And we just got it for the low, low price of killing that guy. we He's also got a slightly nicer dagger than us. You can see that it's just a little better. Now, I do have to wear Dark Brotherhood gear, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, all right. What's the button? Tab. There we go. So now that I have leather armor, leather armor... Um, I can safely put on a leather jacket and get hit with a sword instead of not that.
Uh, also, um, I will have to take those hits uh, essentially naked. I'm not sure how I'm going to... Oh, I know. I'll play with my cat and he'll bite me. Little finder's fee there. All right. Where are we at now? We're at 61. Okay. How much is that, you might ask? Well, that's about 11, uh, almost 12 pounds. I'm listening. Good to see you. Got a problem? Cave rat. Uh, I'll take your word the cave rats are dead. Take these hundred septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Goodbye. So uh, the Dark Brotherhood showing up was just a, well, kind of a fluke, but you know. You've been attacked by assassins uh, from the description in the dart. Looks like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. Not sure who you're angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported, though. Speak to Apelles Marius and Ebenhart about this matter. He's recently arrived from Cyrodiil. You'll find him inspecting the grounds at Ebenhart. Mussera. Mussera. Gild of Fighters. All right. Here for orders or advancement, associate. Fighters Guild recognizes you. You're now the apprentice. You killed the rats. Not bad. You ready for more orders? A uh, local mine has a problem with egg poachers, and you're going to solve them. Yes, egg poachers. It may sound silly, but Kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Hey, fuck you, you racist. Um... Drambarrow, the owner of Skulk Egg Shulk Egg Mind, really wants to make an example of these thieves to other miners to keep other miners from getting ideas. The egg poachers, uh, Civilo Orhan and Zanila Valas, are former egg miners and longtime local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when you've murdered them. So you can also see that her opinion of us has gone up. But what we're gonna do is go say hey to Caius. Because now that we're an apprentice, he might have some stuff for us. Um, I've got light armor. Um, not as good as heavy armor, but it's lighter and quicker, so that's okay. Um, and I've got two real weapons now, uh, in addition to my little cheap sword. And I've got this thing. I would love to find some heavy armor, put some weight on my back. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm obviously pumped about this now, but who knows what I'll be like uh, later in. Caius's house. Shabooms. Here to discuss your orders. Ready for orders? Go to Hasfat Antabolus at the Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nereverine secret cult and the Six House secret cult. Do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor. But do it. Get the information and report back to me. He's a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Man. As someone who keeps living through important historical events... I wish they would stop. Like, I've seen, like, what? Two stock market crashes now? Three, maybe? So I'm actually going to head to the what Fighters Guild about? again. And we're going to look for Mr. Antabolus. Pardon me, sir. Oh, and the pandemic. That's a historic event I'm in. Hey, all right. So you're s so just like in all the other Elder Scrolls games, this is pretty standard. Your skills always level up whenever you use them. One moment, give me a little peckish. Your skills level up as you use them. 
May I help you? No. Um, but in this game, athletics is a skill. How much can I take out of this? And I'll take one of these. And while we're here, let's ditch some of the old gear we have. Uh, you wouldn't have to buy that, would you? No. Oh, well. Anything I can do for you? Mr. Antabolus, down here somewhere. But yes, athletics is a skill that determines your running speed. Here we go. go Hapshetsut Antebellum. Good day, Galena Pitchblend. You're with Caius, and Caius wants information. Is it this for that involved? I require a favor, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkanthand. Arkanthand. I need you to run over there and find me a cube with a circular design and symbols on one side. Nor a puzzle box. I got lost in Arkham Thumbs. I hate pronouncing Dwemer things. Uh, I got lost in there the first time. Jay. Um, hmm. Dwemer Ruin called Arkham May I help you? So I vaguely remember where that is. But only vaguely. It's like, it's like here, I think. But yeah, that's one of the really cool things about Morrowind. In addition to be, it being this weird living world. I mean, maybe it's biased, but I feel like it's even more living than like Skyrim is. Oh, we're setting out. So it is one in the morning. <laughs> I, I love how this is like this is so obviously like a big cocktail dart you know for one to play darts with anyway as I was saying it's very interesting how the uh, whole thing is like Marwood is such an interesting place the hybridization of Legend, Balmora, Caldera. The hybridization of all of the different areas is so neat. Like, you've got Imperial stuff. You've got Dark Elf stuff. Got a little bit of Argonian sneaking in there. Uh, you have ancient Dwemer things that aren't even, like, used. For those not familiar with the Elder Scrolls, um, it's a semi oh god I don't want to get lost it is a semi um, standard fantasy world acrobatics is just the jumping skill um hmm I think this sign is kind of silly, isn't it? It's like, if you go this way, you'll get the fort. You sure will. Anyway, semi-standard fantasy world, except um, predominantly there are less ethnic groups. Instead of dark elves, high elves, humans, orcs, all that, being different like races entirely like different species they are actually just there we go 
didn't take a hit either. Or did I? I think I did. Crap. Um, there are two main races, and they actually share ancestry. And those races are men and myrrh. One moment. All right, sorry about that. Uh, yes, as I was saying, there are two main um, races, as it were, and they actually both evolved from one species. The ancient old progenitor race is called the Elnofe, um, and they were good with magic. Some of them uh, split off and wandered the world. They became the wandering Elnofe. Uh, and so got stronger, but lost their affinity with magic to an extent. Um, the ones that stayed in the same place were called the old Elnofe and got weaker, but more skilled with magic. So I've been paralyzed by this thing. They're very weak, but... I think I see it. I do see it, in fact. Anyway, El Nofe. Um, oh, for God's sakes. Is it, this is a cliff racer. This is probably everyone's least favorite thing about more. Oh, God, there's another one. This is probably everyone's least favorite thing about Morrowind. Let's try being a little sneaky, huh? This is going to work. All right, let's go this way. Anyway. Um, don't fuck with me, man. Elno face split into two races, and those races then became the men and the myrrh. Men are humans, myrrh are elves. Elf is actually a slur used by humans to refer to myrrh, and myrrh never use the term elf to refer to themselves. So, you know. Ooh, big combat on this bridge. Sometimes. Oh, look at how the lighting just goes block by block. So he resisted the magic. So he, he passed the saving throw. All right. He's got an iron war axe, an iron cuirass. And that's pretty good. I'll put that on right now. As for the War Axe... What the heck? It'll make sure that I have a, a better weapon that isn't magical, but has range. Kind of want to get a spear. I've never played with a spear before. I didn't play with a bow very much either. So you can tell by the towers that we're nearer to Arkansas. It's a light puzzle to get in here, but it's nothing to worry about. That was the puzzle. All right. So the really confusing thing about this is that normally you would go down here. Normally you'd think you would follow this path down, but you actually just have to drop right here. So you may wonder why I'm not hitting this guy. It's because Morrowind uses dice rolls for everything. 
So even if you're standing right in front of someone, and you logically should be able to. Oh, that reminds me. Let's use this more. There we go. Boss Credo. Natch Leather. I love Natch Leather. Actually, wait. Natch Leather is five. Where are my boots? Just put those off somewhere. All right. Boots. 35. Well, I guess not, huh? Thinks he's got a bunch of dormer shit on him. Anyway, yeah, so a lot of people got stuck in this thing. Dormer coins are great, because they're like regular coins, but you know. They they have a they have a cost to them. So if you want, you can strip this whole thing for uh, its its goodies. However, unlike uh, being forced to walk or crawl like in some games, um, I don't think you can move at all when you run out of stuff in this game. Door puzzle box. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we can actually put a candlestick in our hand and have it light for us. Which is predominantly why I've been picking them up. Because the lighting in this game isn't good. <laughs> when we later get an enchanted weapon that can glow with fire, uh, we'll probably use that instead. Have I just forgotten where this stupid thing is? God, the rust. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just hiding on the little shelf there. And we'll take a rest. I should have checked what time it was, but I can actually go back in the recording and just look. So if we want, there's actually a whole dungeon here for us to explore. But we don't have to do that. Oh boy. There you are. Whoops. Bit of a waste there. That's alright. Steel dagger. Common everything. Whatever. Take your money. And same deal. Cirrus Fenless. Frank Ruse. So now I'm getting a larger supply of weapons. So, before we head out... Actually, no. Not before we head out. Oh, man. This is already getting complicated. <laughs> Like, I'm going to have to walk to where I am with my gear. Oh, boy. Right. So. Balmora. We can just walk in a straight line. Without rhythm, even. Uh, the candlestick just burnt out. Don't know where... I can actually look at misc, can I? Can't remember if it drops or if it... Um, does something else. So we've got... 153 pounds. Or no, 153 units. 
which is times 0 0.158, 28 pounds. Okay. So I can just put 30 on my back and walk starting at 8. Well, it's 9 now, but it was 8. Um, starting at 8. Also, this can, this can now be a second day because I slept um, a few times. May also notice that we've been playing for 30 minutes. We haven't leveled up. Leveling up occurs whenever you raise, I think, one of your minor skills or one of your major skills 10 times. Um, this can be anything, though. So, like, five major skill upgrades and five minor. Um, nine of these, one of these. But, as we know, this is an Elder Scrolls game. They will only rank up... Sorry, I'm looking for a key. Ah, well. They will only rank up whenever um, we have used them a lot. We can actually observe their progress as well. So we've got a lot of short blade because we have a short sword and a bunch of daggers. We don't have a lot of heavy armor because we've only just put on the iron cuirass. We have a chunk of light armor because we've been wearing a lot of light stuff. No medium. We haven't used a blunt weapon yet. Haven't used a long sword. We have thrown one thing. We have used the axe a lot. We haven't blocked anything and we don't have a spear yet. Um, so those are going to be my next things to do. Whenever I get to there next, I'm going to... Grab a spear and a shield. Um, I got some uh, fat loots as well as a little bit of cash. Uh, so I can hawk the things that I don't need. I like, I usually like carrying a lot of weapons on me, but when I'm going to have to carry them all in real life, I don't favor that as much. Um, I actually do have a lot of cosplay or prop weapons um, for weapon drilling. So, like, I don't have one on me right now, in fact. Um, but I can, I can load myself out with a bunch of weapons. Put them in my backpack. I need to get a good backpack for that shit. But, yeah, um, I'll drop it all off and call the episode. I'm so juiced to be playing Morrowind again, man. I'm so pumped. I'm legitimately so pumped. Um... I'm also very curious to see how this translates into the real world. Because as is, I might just have to like run for an hour with 30 pounds on my back. And like that's not really that bad. <laughs> um, right next to the door of Balmora, there's a shop. Let's go there and take a little peek. Yeah, Ravir Trader. Barter. So he's also got enchanted gear, as you can see. Demon Tonto, Devil Spear, Fiend Katana, Fiend Tonto, um, Chitin Arrows. Oh, let's get a bow. Um, we'll get a Chitin Short Bow. Um, I will sell the Silver Dagger and the Iron Dagger, wherever it may be. Here we go. Um, I'll keep that steel dagger. Now I have a short sword, an axe, a dagger, and a bow. Um, hmm. I can get boiled uh, netch gear, but I don't think it's better. Could get an iron mace. Could get a tanto. You don't have a regular spear, do you? Just a regular old spear. Iron sword, 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 dagger. Tonto. Uh, oh, a kitten spear. There we go. And what the hey? Let's get a chitin club. And let's trade those in for chitin arrows. And let's haggle him down if we can. Oh, I can't afford it. Uh, well, how about you take some of my salt rice? 
and a uh, crash fiber. How about we haggle it down a little more? Where are we at? Refused. Well, then how about we put some of these on there? How do you back up? Let's keep going up. There we go. So now we have the spear. So the spears kind of suck. Oh, yeah, there's also this. So I'm moving side to side now, and I swing it. I'm moving back, and I'm moving forward, and I poke it. I'm standing still, and I chop it. That is the case for every type of weapon. And it is now 10 in the morning. So I'll need to walk that distance in an hour. Um, that's the case for every weapon. And you can see that some weapon, they all have different damage types. And some of them are higher. So thrusting with this will guarantee us five damage. Whereas we might get one less if we chop or slash. So walking forward and poking. Because in a knife fight you want to, you know, stab with it. Is a better is a better shot. Whereas with the axe, we want to stand still and chop with it, because I, as you can see, uh, the chop is eighteen to one, as opposed to one to two, or one to ten. Because slashing with an axe is okay, but thrusting with an axe, there's no sharp part on the top. I'm, I don't know if you can tell where I'm pointing when I do that. There isn't a sharp part on the top, so it's kind of pointless to you know poke with an axe. Switch back to local map. You got the fighters right there. Hey, What's up? Do you need something? Uh, I have no money. Let's barter. Can we? Okay, how much is this? Thirty-five. Iron Cuirass is 11. Steel Cuirass is 17. How much is the Dark Brotherhood one? 35. Jesus. Whoops. I'll sell that then, man. Um, And then I'll get a Steel Shield. So the boots. Or wait. Let's try a helmet. The helm. 35, 17. That's busted, man. I can't believe that you can accidentally bumble into... I mean, I guess it makes sense for this game. But you really can just accidentally bumble into... Uh, fat loots very quickly. Oh, they don't buy the expensive belt. Damn it. Um, well, let's sell my helmet. So we can see my handsome face. Oh, he's selling to me. Okay. That's a fair trade indeed. Um, and this is a classic thing in the Elder Scrolls. They automatically equip any good gear they get. So. Put that back on. Let's put a shield on. So now, whenever we take hits... Actually, I can show you. Whenever we take hits, it'll sometimes block for us. Didn't really get a chance to see it there, but. Um, something rather annoying, even though spears being a classically, you know, shield based weapon in the olden days, they are not in this game. They're two handed. Strange. Have you done a little favor? I asked. Just what I was looking for. I'm going to take this Dwemer puzzle box and I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the sixth house and the Nerverine. The inscriptions on the back of the box seem to be directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you've delivered your report to Caius, come back and I'll have a key you can take back to Arkenthand. The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar will un... What does that word say? Unite... I thought it said Unifier. Unite the Dunmer against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple... The temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe in the Reverine. Tell Caius that
that Sharn Grab Muzgab would be a better person to ask about native faith and superstitions. Um, based on this name, we can tell that this person is an orc. Um, orcs always have a uh, name like that, a naming structure. They are patronymic, I think the term is. Um, so, like, that name, I think, just means, like, Jeff, son of Jerry, essentially. I think so. Um, and then six house. There are five big important houses. House Dagoth is the sixth house. The lost sixth house. Pardon me. In the first age, in the first battle, Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council, which was, I believe, a war between Dunmer and Dwemer. Actually, Keimer, but it's all, that's a long story. But for our purposes here, the Dunmer were fighting the, the elves. Jesus Christ. The Dwemer, who are the dwarves, more or less, even though they're actually a... Um, ethnic group of the elves of the old Elnofe. Uh, the Dwemer were fighting the Dark Elves, the Dunmer. Sorry. Uh, and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions, but you'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some Six South references. List of cheap books. All I'll tell you something about the Six South and how it ended. War of the First Council. Saint Nerevar. Nerevar Moonstar and the real Nerevar. Tried the bookseller Doris Darvel over in the commercial district. She'll have at least some of these. Uh, Morrowind history. I won't bore you with blathering about history. That's what Caius is for. But if you're really interested, try Morrowind, the Imperial Province, by uh, Aramanwa of Sunhold. I have an extra copy you can have. But what an adventure like you really needs is a sense of current events. Who hates who? Where's trouble brewing? That's where opportunity lies. All right. Great houses hate each other. Theft, murder, assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. Temple is trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Dissident Priests. Ashlander nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. A secret cult is killing off imperial citizens. All bad enough. Real problem is the blight, monsters and disease. There's a zombie play going on, y'all. Uh, native state comes from the Red Mountain, and it's been a local problem for years, but lately it's gotten badly out of control. Of course, the Red Mountain is the Ghost Gate. They're the same thing. I'm Jesus. All right. So he gave us some books to read. And if we don't read all of those, we will be very lost. I honestly can't imagine what it must feel like to start Morrowind totally fresh. To be... What brings you here, friend? Friend? Mm, little screen tearing there. So there's those egg poster poachers. Right. So one of the issues with doing quests in this game... Where are we at now? 151. One of the issues with quests in this game is that they go into your journal and you have to go all the way through it if you want to go back to an old quest. And so if I were to say pick up five quests here, like if I were to want to go back and read... Yeah, if I were to go back and read here, I would actually have to go back through all of these and remember where exactly it was. That I'm supposed to be looking here. Wealth beyond measure. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. So we've got some armor and weapons now. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good. Like my cool mohawk. Um, I usually, I always play as a Dunmer in every game, and I give them a mohawk in this game. Um, in Morrowind specifically. This is now the furthest I've ever played Morrowind on the channel. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. Got to do it in real life, too. All right. Guys, my man. Pleasure. Discuss your orders. These notes are from Hafsepshut and Tandabellum. Excellent. I trust you didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look over them in detail later, but now I have some new orders. I've glanced at the notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the cult. Hop on over to the Mage's Guild. It's right next to the Balmora Fighter's Guild. 
Get the guy he mentioned to tell you what she knows about Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you, do what she asks, and report back. Same deal. That reminds me. So unarmored is a skill. There we go. These die rolls, man. Ah oh, well. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege. This is sneaking in this game, by the way. The difference is so slight; it's almost unnoticeable. Anyway, um, yeah, that's a, that's a good episode of Morrowind. Oh, perfect. This is a great place to end it then. Um, you had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure wearing a golden mask led you among the dead through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. That's a good episode of Morrowind, everyone. Um, I've been Alfred. Thank you for coming by. Uh, I'm very glad I'm getting to play one of my favorite games of all time. Again. Uh, and I'm happy this game has turned 20. Um, I may do another playthrough of this. I know this is already technically my second playthrough, arguably third on the channel. Um, but I love this game. And I'm recording it in Open Morrowind this time, as opposed to just original Morrowind um, ran through good old games, but you know, original Morrowind, uh, which makes it a lot easier to record. And the reason that um, Far Cry Primal, New Vegas and Morrowind all originally fell off in addition to other reasons was because recording them is a pain in the butt. You have to open task manager. It's a whole thing. Um, but recording this is dead simple. They're really easy, which is why I like it. Uh, but yes, so, I'm going to play more of this. I've literally had dreams about recording this game. Multiple dreams across a couple of months. I've had dreams about being in Balmora. I love this game. It's not my favorite game of all time. But it's really good. And even if I don't end up recording um, the stuff where I do this all in real life until later. Uh, I hope that this LP will stand. I hope that it's good. I hope you enjoy it. Um, but yes. I'm an Alfred. Wait. Last thing. Some of these episodes might not have um, voiceover or face cam. No. Uh, I did quite a few videos of Morrowind just with, you know, me doing stuff regularly and people enjoyed those. Um, like, it was me walking around Morrowind and people really liked that. Uh, I also may have episodes where I read fan fictions or books. Um, just while I'm doing busy work. So there's that. But yes, for real now, I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind, specifically the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind Game of the Year edition containing Blood Moon and Tribunal. And we're going to be playing the main quest and Tribunal, and I'm going to be doing it all in real life too, as best I can. Or attempting to. I've been Alfred. It's short for Elfredric. Thank you for coming by and watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.